Providing patients with healthcare workers who have the skills they need is arguably the core of medical education. There's been some really great work trying to understand career trajectories and what influences specialty preference. We've also developed understanding about what drives people away from training programmes and from medicine in general. Discussions about burnout, difficult working environments and the challenges of working in a stretched healthcare system are happening more and more. These discussions, like the literature supporting them, focus on the negative aspects of healthcare work that drive people away and our understanding of this is developing at pace. What we have less understanding of is what allows people to survive, to thrive in an environment that is driving exodus in others. One area where this is particularly acute is in the emergency department where, despite increasing trainee numbers, demand is outstripping supply. The aim of this study is to try and understand what allows doctors practising in emergency medicine to have sustainable careers in the context of many leaving. To do this, I'm using a methodology called ethnography. This will involve me observing two different emergency departments for three months each, looking at how the people interact with each other and the environment to try and identify the small things that facilitate sustainable careers in emergency medicine. This is supported by interviews with doctors from the departments where I'm conducting the observations and with individuals from key organisations with a stake or a say in doctors' retention. I will also be speaking with doctors who have left the specialty to try and gain a counterpoint to the ongoing analysis. Empirical work is supported by a review of both the academic and grey literature. By including policy throughout the study, I aim to make the results more immediately policy relevant. The data collection period is between now and the annual scientific meeting, and I would hope to present very early findings at the conference in order to benefit from the audience's insight and to keep the conversation between health professions education and other branches of academia flowing.